Hey folks, how's it going? Let's get this on the road, shall we? So, the Speaking with the Dead challenge has begun. It's up, it's ready, day one is up. I invite you to come join the group if you're looking for tips and practical necromancy. So interacting with the dead on purpose. Not just using your mediumship as going into the haunted locations, but working them and inviting them into your space. Today is the day of all souls. It's the day when we connect and we give reverence and we give honor to those spirits. So this is the day that I figured would be the best time to bring that out with practical tips in modern necromancy that allow for both the historical application of it, but exercises that you can take and use in your practice today. If this is something that interests you, I invite you to join the group. It's a free experience for those that are looking to go deeper in the arts of necromancy. And I look forward to working with you and look forward to seeing what you guys pull together as a way to connect with the dead and to connect with other people's dead and to connect with the ancestors in a different kind of way. Not in a way that is for posturing, for uh, the abuse of these techniques, but in a way that is reverential. So that as you use these methods and this methodology, you actually get to see some results. You get to see the dowsing rods cross. You get to feel the presence of spirits. You get to work with these things and then you get to release these things so that they can form into new life. So that the spirits that bound by ritual to their bones because they didn't know better gets to be freed so that that spirit can then go into the coyote, can go into the wolf, can go into the trees, can go into the fishes, can go into the birds so that it can rise to new life. This is what necromancy should be for. This is questioning the dead to see which way they want to go. Do they want to be released? Do they want to go visit their family in dreams? These are the things we're able to do. I look forward to seeing you in the group, my friends. Until then, stay safe.